thank you to all of our wonderful speakers. Um, surely I don't need to introduce you to Nehal, um, Nehal Madani, our CEO, our founder, um, the, the lovely person behind all of these ideas and behind Alt Legal Connect. I'll hand it over to you. Well, thank you, Bree. Thank you for doing such amazing job as our MC and for putting together this conference. Um, and just wow, everybody, it's been an incredible three days. I want to thank you again for joining us for the first Alt Legal Connect and, of course, now the final content piece of Alt Legal Connect. We do have a happy hour right after, so please stay with us for that as well. First, I want to thank Jack for that incredible presentation, as well as every single one of our amazing speakers for their brilliant content and memorable takeaways. Somehow, in three days, we covered legal tech, licensing, subscription billing, law firm marketing, brand genericide, international brand building, cannabis trademarks, non-traditional trademarks, the OED, diversity, and its impact on representation, what in-house clients' needs are, tactics to avoid litigation with effective filing, USPTO post-registration audit, and of course, what Jack just talked about, how to build a client-centric law firm. You know, I could go on and on about how amazing every individual session was, but really, I just learned so much from every session. And I watch and I appreciate every bit of content that was here. Now, normally this is the point where I'd ask for a actual round of applause for our speakers, but we'll just settle for a virtual one in this COVID era. It's been a busy three days at Alt Legal Connect. You know, when we set out for um, this conference, you know, we had a target of 200, maybe 250 attendees for a virtual conference during COVID. And we ended up with 325 registrants, which we were just blown away by. But the part that you know really impressed my team the most is that you all set up 500 meetings in three days. You took that connection piece to heart in terms of Alt Legal Connect, and we loved seeing that. You know, we even saw engagement with our sponsors. One of our sponsors had set up 15 plus meetings. Our speed networking was a success as well. We had eight hours of conversation time from you with 125 different matches. And again, we love seeing that connection piece of Connect come to heart here and come to life. We had amazing and lively trivia night. We hope everyone enjoyed our attempt to be clever, at least with trademark puns. And congrats to our winner, In Too Deep in parentheses 2D. Um, we had a great time with charades. You can see our brilliant sales team in action, Gabrielle O'Toole on the left, Lauren Amanda Adler on the right. We loved our cooking classes, our instructors for that. Um, you know, there's a Mexican cooking class, there's an Italian one, but I think really the pictures just speak for themselves here. It was a tough year certainly with the Um, wasn't an easy transition for us um, in May, you know, when we went to virtual. But, you know, back in March, we were excited to bring this conference to life in reality in Brooklyn. Then we decided, you know what, we'll certainly postpone it because of obviously what happened with COVID and thought if we went to October, the world would be in a much better place. It'd be ridiculous if we were all dealing with COVID. Certainly, here we are. Um, but, you know, back in May, we decided that certainly COVID was going to be here at least through this year. And we decided to make this conference virtual. And that was a difficult decision for us. You know, we've had to say no to the hotel that we were in love with, this brand new boutique hotel in Williamsburg. We had a lot of difficult chats with vendors, you know, many of whom were hurting from COVID. And we were just really afraid that, you know, if we went virtual, A, no one would come, B, it would be boring, and C, there would be no engagement whatsoever because, you know, in the midst of a global pandemic, there's a lot of other things to worry about. And you proved us wrong on all of those points. And I'm so grateful for that. You know, we and when we saw this, we were up to a challenge. You know, we decided to take the same approach to creating an engaging virtual conference that we did to creating a new trademark experience. We started by focusing on what you all wanted, listening to what you all needed, and then obsessing over those details. You know, as I mentioned at the beginning, our approach has always been to put customers first and by listening to them, and we hope that you were able to witness our customer-centric approach at this conference. 
you know, a little bit about how we created these sessions. You know, I know many of you enjoy these sessions. We relied on our own belief of staying hungry and striving for better for ourselves and our work in creating this conference. And so we hope that you are leaving here with ways to improve your trademark practice and making it better, you know, whether it's by more substantive trademark knowledge or whether it's new subscription billing models or just new marketing strategies, whatever you took away, we hope you are able to find ways to go back and improve your trademark practice through that. You know, when we designed our networking sessions, we relied on our belief of staying curious and that each person has something to teach and use that to, you know, design sessions that would really create meaningful relationships for you. And hopefully you have those lasting connections from it. You know, over the summer, my team took on a mission to find the right tech to create this conference, to make it engaging, to make it intimate, to really, you know, create as much of an in-person experience as we could virtually. Um, you know, we couldn't find one platform that did it all. So we ended up with over five. And so I appreciate everyone navigating, you know, all these different platforms. And, you know, you all had great things to say, despite some tech challenges. But I do want to highlight what really made this conference special and I think unique was your energy and your enthusiasm and just your overall genuine desire for cooperation. You know, not only were our speakers contributing incredible knowledge here, but you all were as participants. The chats were so active, you know, we loved seeing everything that you did there, you know, and how you were sharing tips and just the incredible cooperation in the chats and the networking sessions. We really saw the great spontaneity and helpfulness and warmth that we wanted from our in-person event. And you know, after all, a community is a sense of belonging. And you all made Alt Legal Connect an incredibly welcoming place. You know, as I confessed to you all when I kicked off this conference, my founding team and I didn't really know much about trademarks aside from my personal problems with filing trademarks. We had never seen a trademark docketing system before launching ours, but it was really the trademark community who provided guidance and they told us what they wanted. And in the same way, this trademark community that shaped our docketing software has really helped shape Alt Legal Connect this year. Um, and I think for years to come, um, just to recap on some of our product announcements, you all have been asking for international support. I'm thrilled to announce that the first stage of that is already here. We've rolled out our integration for the Canadian IP office. So you'll see the same great automation that you saw in the US on the Canadian side. We have an upcoming announcement with a major search provider to bring in their international trademark data to provide you much more support there. We have a complete overhaul coming out soon of the way you can manage deadlines to make your lives easier. And so stay tuned for all of those announcements in the coming months. But overall, it's just we're just really proud of really the community announcements. And you know, it's one of the reasons that we have a director of education on staff, Bree, who you know you've all gotten to know over the last three days, if you didn't know her before. You know, we want to empower you with the tools and resources to improve you know, your practice and make your lives easier. So one of the things that we announced at this conference was our Trademark Resource Center. We're adding much more content to it, but for now it's aggregating all of our webinars and articles in one convenience place. You can access that at altlegal.com slash resources. But part of that resource center and the part that I'm so proud to announce is our new Trademark Paralegal course with an incredible roster of instructors. You know, um, I want to thank Darshika Patel, um, Elisa, Becky Summers, Rachel, Shanish, Fiona Scott, and Lindsay Corbin, who's also one of our sponsors from Delegate Legal, for helping us bring this you know, course to life. It really stemmed from you know, listening to you all again when you were facing challenges, finding paralegals, you know, leveling up trademark knowledge for your staff. So we got together with some partners and some of the greatest minds that we knew in trademarks to create this course you know to walk through trademark fundamentals as well as some of the more advanced topics in trademarks so it's free it's available we encourage you to send it to your personal network to get your staff involved altlegal.com paralegal 
we already have dozens of you signed up already. So, you know, we're great to see the enthusiasm already in place. Um, and a couple of new announcements, you know, we love listening to customers. We love finding all these opportunities to connect with you all, the broader trademark community as well. So we're launching a new town hall series. Our entire leadership, myself included, is going to be available for product feedback, concerns, ideas, really anything you want to talk about, whether it's related to trademarks or not. Um, so stay tuned on that. You will be seeing an announcement about the new town hall series. We also have a new program called Alt Legal Labs. If you want to be shaping our new features at the earliest stages, um, please let us know. We'd love to show you and bring in your feedback. And again, going back to just listening to you all so that we can create the trademark docketing experience that you all want. And as we look forward to next year, like I said, our focus is really on delivering the trademark community more resources. We want to accelerate product development. We want to make Alt Legal more helpful for you. Um, as you can imagine, this conference um, certainly took a lot of effort. So I want to thank the team who did this in addition to their normal day job. So Bree, our Director of Education, Ben, our Operations and Research Manager, Linza, our Office Manager, and Sophia, our Director of Customer Success. And of course, our other MC, who just happens to moonlight as our National Sales Director, Lauren Amanda Adler. I could not be proud, more proud of what our team put together here. We're so thrilled to see all the enthusiasm about Alt Legal Connect and that you all enjoyed it so much. And none of this would really be possible without, of course, the generosity of our sponsors. So a special thank you to each of our sponsors who you know made this conference possible, helped us keep the prices low. Um, so thank you to Alta Claro, Clio, Delegate Legal, Docket Alarm, um, Frost Zelnick, Gravity Legal, Smith, and my case. They all have virtual booths set up. We do encourage you to get in touch with them. They do, many of them do have special offers for attendees. And like I said, we do think a lot of these are best in class providers here. So really check out these best in class sponsors. Um, some housekeeping. Um, we are going to have a happy hour in a couple minutes. We have prizes that were graciously donated by our sponsors, speakers, and community. So please join us in a moment. Recordings, we've had a lot of questions about that. We know we had concurrent sessions, and we're excited. So our team is working hard to make them available to you next week. Um, some of you have asked us, you know, what are we doing next year for Alt Legal Connect? Um, we do want to make it happen in 2021. Of course, the world is in flux, um, so we will be in touch very soon about what our plans are and what dates will be and obviously format as well. But really, I just couldn't have asked for a better first conference and for it to be virtual and just so successful. It's amazing. Thank you all for making that possible. The chats, the energy, the enthusiasm really brought this to life. So thank you again for joining us for Alt Legal Connect and making it a success. And please join us now for a toast in our happy hour. Thanks so much.